Good morning to those of you who it's morning of March 29. Uh, good morning to the European researchers like Vito that is four o'clock in the morning or something like that. And good evening to those of us who are in US and it's one day before. Me, Anis Kekadiaris, I'm a computer scientist at the University of Houston. And I have the pleasure of uh, serving as the chair of the webinar committee. Uh, I, nothing could be done without uh, Vito and Marisa that you see here in the slide. But of course, we welcome the contributions of Chang Wen and Vivek as the publications and education liaison. Next slide, please. So to those of you who are not familiar with the Biometrics Council, one thing that I want you to remember is that the mission of the Biometrics Council is to advance, promote, and coordinate work in the field of biometric technology and applications throughout IEEE and to expand IEEE's role in this interdisciplinary field. Membership is free and you can find the link there and you can email to Vito or me if you need more information about the council. So I'll pass the virtual microphone to Vito because he has some exciting deadlines for us. Vito? Yeah, thank you. So the I, uh, IEEE Biometrics Council has a flagship conference and I assume all of you are aware of that. So the um, IEEE International Joint Conference on Biometrics, which is co-organized. So um, the council is the financial sponsor and AIPR is the technical sponsor for the conference. And this is an annual event and the next edition of IGCB is coming up uh, in September and it will be held in Ljubljana, Slovenia. So um, it's organized uh, by my university or co-organized by my university. And if you are work, uh, working in the area of biometrics, uh, I would like to invite you su to submit a paper uh, or your work. So this is a great opportunity to, to show what you do to the biometric um, community and researchers around the world. And as you see, the submission deadline is pretty close. So three weeks away, approximately. Uh, and we would happy to see your submission uh, in the system once that, that is closer. Yeah, so back to you, Alice. Vito, I want to congratulate you. If you can go one slide back, I want to congratulate you for uh, organizing IJCB 2023. And I want to invite everybody to submit their work because IJCB is coming uh, the highlight of our field and I would like to see all of you there. Without further ado, uh, let me introduce the, today's speaker. And uh, this is Professor Ranhe. Uh, if, if you work on myometrics, you know all about him, correct? He has received a PhD degree in pattern recognition and intelligence system for the Institute of Automation in the Chinese Academy of uh, Sciences affectionately known as Cassia in 2009. So I, I guess you have seen his resume, nothing else from me, just to say that we are honored to have you, Professor Khe. Thank you. The, now you can go in your slides. Uh, good, mo good morning, everyone. I'm Yang Su from Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Automation. Thanks to, uh, to actually Biometric Council for providing a good communication platform. Thanks, Professor Alnis Kaladiri's invitation, and thanks for Vito's technical support. Today, it's my honor to, to present to you the recent research in the field of heterogeneous discrimination. Thank you for joining us today. Let's kick off. First, I will introduce the introduction of biometrics and heterogeneous face recognition. Biometrics is a statistical analysis of people's unique physical and behavioral characteristics. The technical is mainly used for access control or for identifying individuals who are under surveillance. Physical characters are related to the composition of users, for example, facial image. Uh, facial image, facial image, uh, fingerprint, fingerprint, iris, iris, and voice, and behavioral identi identifiers such as handwriting, handwriting, and uh, walking, walking gait. 
Biometric recognition depends on the uniqueness of the factor being considered. For example, fingerprints are generally considered to be highly unique to each person. The ability of the biometric factors can be important to acceptance of, of the factor. Fingerprint does not change does not change over life, while facial image often changes just drastically with age or other factors. Meanwhile, biometrics also has other, uh, other properties as accuracy, security, uni universality. Biometric recognition is widely used in all aspects of, of our life. Aside from biometric, uh, aside from biometric, uh, biometric being in many, in many, smart, in many smartphones, Biometrics are used in many different uh, fields, like, uh, like economy, forensics, security. For example, law enforcement. It is used in system for cri uh, criminal identification, such as fingerprint or palm print, authentic author or authentication system, or small payment, unmanned system, surveillance border control, and uh, vehicular identification also use the biometrics. Biometrics has been widely used uh, all part of our, our lives. Well, there are some challenges in biometrics. For example, biometric recognition methods suffer from bias and fairness in training sites. We often have some small, <laughs> small data sites of, of particular uh, information. Biometrics are you are also Subjected to attacks by adversarial samples or representation attacks, such as uh, deep fakes or other attacks methods. Well, high quality cameras and other sensors push forward the use of biometrics. They can also enable attackers because people do not show their face, ears, hands, voice, and uh, or feet. Uh, attackers can easily uh, collect the, uh, the uh, this biometric state, and uh, they are possible to they, they are possible simply they, they, uh, they are possible sim, uh, they are possible to attack simply by capturing capturing biometric state from people. Otherwise, the explainability <coughs> of recognition result is still unresolved problem. We only get a result of uh, zero or one, but we uh, we should know why we get uh, this result. Various sensors, various sensors also raise the problem of cross sensor recognition. Biometrics are usually taken from different acquisition devices. For example, we use visible, we use visible camera to collect a person image during during the day, and uh, uh, but we use infrared uh, infrared cameras to collect person image at night. We also collect face image. Uh, Visible face image and uh, in, uh, near infrared face image during light and, and night. And fingerprint and the uh, iris have the problem of various image from different sensors. In this seminar, we only focus on cross sensor or heterogeneous face recognition. Actually, we have also the problem in person identification, cross sensor iris, cross sensor palm, and cross sensor uh, iris uh, recognition problem. Well, if the sample samples capture with different sensors, it may cause a cross sensor compensation. In many scenarios, the only available image of a person is obtained with a surveillance camera in the visible in the visible range. But the reference data this side contains image in the near reference range or sketch or thermal or low quality video image or 3D image. Uh, this is the domain gap. We can we can you uh, we can directly compare these two images from the two, two, two domains. Due to the difficulty of this uh, this collection, the volume of comparing visible and near infrared sets are different. We can easily collect large amount of visible image from the internet. However, it is difficult to collect the heterogeneous image because this image. Are uh, 
uh, are, are captured by special special devices or shot or, or shot by, uh, by, uh, by by persons. So uh, so we only have the small scale heterogeneous state size. This is also this is also a challenge for heterogeneous preservation metrics. Actually, the study the, 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 the study of heterogeneous has a long uh, has uh, has more than twenty years has more than ten, uh, has more than twenty years. As the environment become uncontrolled, the requirement for the model gradually become higher, and the volume of data sets tend to be large uh, larger. Biometrization method can be integrated into traditional methods and the deep learning method. Uh, <clears throat> now, in our daily life system, we, uh, we, we, we almost use the deep learning method to perform recognition. And we have the uh, near, near infrared VS this side of sketch, VS this side, and uh, terminal visible this side for the study. In the following, I will introduce the widely used fundamentals in biometrics. Actually, our uh, the biometrics recognition method almost depend on fundamentals, uh, my models in computer vision and machine learning. The goal of, um, of biometrics is to identify or verify the identity of an individual using their features. And one of the key components of a recognition algorithm is feature representation learning. There have been many models for facial representation in biometrics. They can be broadly in, uh, categorized into three, three, three categories, global features and local features and deep features. In early method, we, have, uh, we use principal component analysis to model the biometric data. We have eigenphase, eigen palm, eigen, eigen areas, and uh, facial and facial face. Then, local features such as heart, heart feature, LBP feature, double feature, auditor measure, HOG feature were, uh, were divided for, bio, for, for biometrics. During the 2008 sparse representation method were, were introduced in biometrics to learn sparse solution for occluded biometric recognition. <clears throat> More recently, a large number of deep learning methods has been developed and through promote, promoting improvement on recognition algorithm. Global feature models such as agent face and facial face represent the face as a whole and use techniques such as principal component analysis and facial linear discriminant to extract a set of features that capture the most important information in face image, uh, images. Eigenface based on principal component analysis yield projection directions that ma uh, maximize the total scatter across class. Uh, here are eigenface uh, uh, images. Feature face based on facial di uh, linear discriminant minimize, minimizes the between class scatter, meanwhile, minimizes the within class scatter. The local feature method were proposed. Local feature models aim to extract features from special region of the face, such as the eyes, nose, and the local gray scale histogram. The model focuses on capturing fine green details and being more robust to variation in lighting, pose, and expression. Double features, LBP, uh, LBP and H, HOJ, are three commonly used local features model in face recognition. Uh, this image are uh, double <coughs> double feature in uh, what you post on a uh, given given face image. This is the uh, HOG features. Our group, uh, 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 our group Professor Ping uh, also proposed uh, audio measure local feature for biometrics. Uh, audio measure, like uh, other local features, audio measure has been widely used in face recognition as iris recognition, palm iris palm and iris recognition. Audio measure is defined as the relative ordering, ordering information of multiple variables. In visual representation, the audio measure can be used to impose the information in intensity level or facial level, intensity or features. 
All the methods were first proposed for every representation with the objective of fabricating wise a qualitative relationship between every reason rather than price measure of image, iris image structure. It, uh, it uh, provides a robust representation for iris. This is the ordinal code from the iris image. We extend the, the iris image to a <coughs> Uh, to uh, to a rectangle image, then we get the audio measure. We just compare the local regions, and uh, if uh, one reason is lighter than another, we give uh, the the code one. Otherwise, we give the code zero. Such represent, uh, such representation achieve a good trade off between distinctness and robustness. Audio measure are a general concept for image analysis, analysis, and many variants can be derived for audio facial expression. Guarding a uh, couple audio measures which integ integrate uh, integrate couple features and the robustness of audio measures as a promising solution to draw and handle interpersonal symmetry and uh, interpersonal intra variations in face image. Then in 2008, sparse mutation methods were introduced in, in uh, biometrics. After local uh, <coughs> The sparse presentation method uses the diction, diction of face image to represent a given face as a sparse linear representation combination of the diction atoms. The sparse line representation of the test sample in terms of the dictionary and can be recovered efficiently by L1 minimization. The authors wrote that sparse approach is more robust to variations in uh, illumination, pose, and uh, occlusion compared to previous face recognition methods. Due to the development of deep learning, face recognition algorithm had made significant progress. Deep face is the first method to solve the problem of face features using convolution neural networks. It, it proposed a convolution neural network and used 3D face reconstruction te uh, technology to correct into the image of the network. After deep learning method combine local feature, uh, feature selection, and uh, uh, machine learning method together, we can use uh, one net to perform the, the whole uh, the whole learning progress. Then face net arc face are proposed uh, are proposed <coughs> significantly improve the performance of the examination in unchosen environments. Our group also developed a large CN framework for face recognition. We know that the CN, the CN framework usually includes convolution layers, convolution layers, uh, remove active, active functions, remove layers, and the pooling layers. We propose to use max out activity function to replace the uh, remove the uh, active function. Then we, we get a uh, max. Uh, max feature map operation to conduct feature selection and uh, alleviate noise state. Actually, when we use the uh, max uh, max a function, it uh, max feature map also play a similar role of uh, audio measure. <coughs> it just selects robust local feature to improve the performance. Multiple sets of convolution and, uh, and network in network is also used as VDJ and Google Net to decrease the number of parameters. When training, let us say only implies, uh, implies softmax as the supervised signal. Let us say it was published on HVE tips and win HVE signal processing society best young, uh, young author award. Uh, this architecture has been Integrate to into many mobile devices. <clears throat> uh, there is more than 100 million calls per day, uh, per day in the mobile device. It is a small, uh, a small, small network and run very fast. It can be directly integrated into mobile device. Recently, transformer as uh, another <clears throat> important method in deep learning. Is proposed for natural language processing task in 20, 2017. 
and then we we'll introduce com uh, introduce the uh, computer vision and the biometrics. A core difference between CNN convolutional neural network and transformer is that transformer use the self attention, self attention, self attention magnet to employ the long run feature dependence. A classical transformer block consists of self attention modular and a forward and a forward networks and the basic method that uh, the night and the novelization has been used. There are some uh, uh, there, are, uh, there are also some vision transformers such as CETR and VIT. They separate the input image into many patches and view each patch as a vision visual token in transformer. A uh, transformer can be used in detection, classification, image generation. It has been become a visual backbone in biometrics and computer vision. Our group uh, also uh, also developed some methods for transformer transformer back, uh, backbone network. Here is our NIPS, uh, NERIPS work on improving the efficiency of global self attention. This is the attention. We take use of the householder transformation to construct a flexible and learnable orthogonal transformation. Visual tokens are first projected into a orthogonal space with the orthogonal transformation perform self attention separately. And then we, back, we project back the visual space. There are four managed or for the uh, it, uh, the transformer, the attention mechanism is performed on lower resolution. It will uh, reduce the computation cost. Orthogonal transformation is reversible, reversible transformation, reversible transformation <coughs> without information loss. Token group are linear dependent in the orthogonal space. Self attention in different groups have to explore different properties in representation. Both local correlation and global dependence modeling are considered. Based on the orthogonal attention, we design an orthogonal transformer backbone. It can improve performance and reduce, reduce computation costs. In the following, we further, invite, uh, we further invest, investigate how to assess efficiency and effective global contact modeling at the early, uh, early stage. We know that uh, for human vision, the early stage is an important stage for, uh, for recognition. We, uh, we expect that, that the transformer like human, human regions, uh, we can give more attention at the early stage. Our method, uh, our method, we draw inspiration from the design of super pixel. Super pixel is commonly used in image processing. And we introduce super token into trans, tra, uh, within transformer like super pixel. We propose a simple yet uh, Strong super token attention mechanism with three steps. The first step is with super token, uh, super token from visual token. Uh, uh, the first, uh, the fir first, we sample super tokens from visual tokens via sparse association learning. The second, perform self, self attention on super tokens. And the last, ma map them back to the original base. Our method decomposes uh, vanilla global attention into multiplication of a sparse association map with a low dimensional attention, leading to a high efficiency in capturing global de dependencies. As a result, uh, we can get a, a larger attention, larger attention in the early stage. As drawn in this uh, in this picture, our method can better capture global dependencies in early stage. More pixels are active, active in the global attention in the earlier layer. Compare other other uh, other methods, we can get a larger attention error in the early stage. There's other methods attention. More pixels are active in the global attention in the early stage. Our methods achieve the best point on many vision tasks, such as detection, recognition, and segmentation. Well, based on the fundamental heterogeneous recognition, <coughs> has, uh, we can design special, uh, special backbone method for heterogeneous state recognition. Early work in 
sketch domain is local feature based uh, discriminal analysis. This combine the local feature and uh, uh, feature discriminal analysis. Build the training states, the image are divided into, into overlapping patches and features are extracted by uh, extract using SIFT and LBP discriminators. During the matching stage, the local facial discriminant analysis presentation of the sketch and photo are obtained. And, uh, and the target image is founded by minimizing the distance of the two representations. We have local features and we, we have the discriminant projections that we compare the we compare the distance between the uh, feature of sketch and the uh, visible image. Later, deep learning was introduced in uh, in sketch visible uh, cross domain recognition, but the number of uh, of uh, face sketch face size are limited. It represents a challenge to training deep uh, sketch face recognition method. Various approaches have been proposed to address the small sample challenge. Including fine tuning the high weight of a pre trained face recognition model to uh, backbone, fine, fine tuning the backbone model to enable it to track both sketch and feature and uh, photo features. For example, the first image shows the method that fine tuning fine the last three layer of a pre trained VGG model using the triplet the loss. The second image shows another method. Fine tuning the domain specific units, which are low level units. And the precise face of a special domain. Deep learning methods are also used in similar domains. The core idea of the proposed method is to add a new neural network block called a pre replacement domain transfer in front of the pre trained face models to address the domain gap. In, uh, for near infrared, uh, near infrared uh, heterogeneous face recognition, earlier work is uh, is using the LBP histogram features. In this work, the special purpose, uh, special uh, proposed proposed hardware work uh, were developed by Professor uh, Stan Stan Lee. <coughs> and a uh, putting method, a uh, machine learning method is used to select the efficient features for recognition. Our group, uh, uh, our group, uh, proposed uh, and to add network architecture that efficiently learned model environment features by introducing a novel Winston system. We use the Latin as the backbone, the Latin as backbone network, a fundamental network, and introduce a Winston system method. This uh, uh, this picture shows the pr proposed uh, Winston system architecture. The Winston distance is used. To measure the difference between the near infrared and visible distributions in the modality invariant subspace. Here, we model each person as a distribution rather, rather than one sample. <clears throat> at the testing time, both near infrared and visible features are extracted from the shared label of a one single network and compared in percent distance. These two, although there are two, uh, two networks. Uh, these, these two networks are shared. Uh, are shared. Uh, are shared parameters. Uh, actually, there is only one, one less than networks. In addition, we impose a correlation prior on the fully connected layers based on a non-convex low rank uh, uh, constraint. We know that the uh, the parameters in the full connected layer occupy a large number of parameters because we are only small. Small scale training set, so we impose a low rank constraint to re further reduce the parameter of the full connection layer. That we can train an end to end network to make the whole network a robust to small scale design. This prior improved the performance of the proposed uh, Winston scene on small scale, whereas a uh, near infrared uh, visible design and significantly improved the variation. Verification rate at a low false exception rate. This method can also be used for areas and the person identification to model the modality difference. We evaluate the proposed Winston Sin approach against traditional methods and deep learning methods on three recently public, uh, three commonly used 
near infrared and visible recognition data sets. That is the Cartier uh, data set, the largest near infrared data set published by our institute. <coughs> and the OLU data set and the BUA data set. This data set is published by the uh, Professor Yunhong Wang's group. Compared with previous method, we only use a compact low dimensional 128 dimensional features to, to achieve state of the art performance on face recognition. <clears throat> the performance was further improved at a low fault accept rate, uh, especially on small data. The performance is very significant. Then we further introduce uh, a cross proof, uh, a cross spectral phase compilation method that use generative adversarial networks uh, for heterogeneous regression without assembling multiple image paths. It contains an uh, encoder and a decoder structure generator and two discriminators to full consider variations of near infrared and visible image. This uh, cross-spectral uh, cross phase combination method minimizes the spectral and the post discrimination of cross-sensor near infrared image in uncontrolled environment. Actually, we know that when we use the camera to, cap, to, cap, to capture near infrared and visible image, well, there are also large posts in near infrared image because the face is very close to the, uh, to, to the camera. So the post is uh, another important problem. In, uh, in near infrared problems. Our method minimizes minimize the bugs and, uh, and the spectral and pose the discrimination of cross sensor recognition in uncontrolled environment. Additionally, it is the first growth that uh, it is the first growth that simul simultaneous normalized face pose and cross spectral appearance for heterogeneous face recognition. We synthesize, we synthesize normalized phase for post invariant and cross spectral recognition and simplify this process into a one to one image translation problem. <clears throat> we propose a post correction mo modular to frontalize the face image with arbitrary post in visible image and use adversarial ad training to imprint the face texture. The decomposition of the post correction and texture imprinting enables the generation of Photo uh, realistic and then preserving visible image, visible image. Here are the uh, results. We can directly use the synthetic uh, visible image to perform recognition. That means that we transform we transform the image from near infrared domain to visible domain and perform recognition on image on <coughs> on visible domain. We also achieve state of the art face synthesis and recognition performance on the benchmark heterogeneous face recognition data set. Our methods can also generate high quality normalized phase to facilitating existing heterogeneous face recognition systems. Moreover, we have a new benchmark on Cassia data set to quantitatively evaluate the performance of GAN based methods. Well, we can also uh, recognition based on the synthetic image. There are also a large amount of work. work. We can uh, we just we can, we can categorize them to gun based, transformer based, and uh, shape based method. Uh, early work of synthetic pro uh, synthesis approach are uh, mainly uh, synthesis uh, pseudo sketch by given face photos. Professor uh, Xiao Tang's group. Proposed a method called eigen transform, eigen trans, uh, eigen trans, uh, eigen transformation. From the from the, the name, we can know that it uses the principal component analysis to perform a transformation. They transform the face photos into pseudo sketch in terms of shape and texture, respectively. Then a Bayesian a Bayesian classifier was used to compare the real sketch with the synthesis sketch. Recently, the uh, deep learning method are, you, uh, are, are introduced. The core of the deep learning networks of this method is still conditional, still conditional normalization based structure, which can obtain 
prior information on different uh, different components from the reference in, uh, in, in a sample, especially DCN can, uh, contains two conditional normalization branch. The first branch, which contains a beta res uh, re residue block, allows for spatial adaptive nomination of the reference image conditional on the semantic marks of the input image. The second branch, which comprises a uh, IDE res uh, residue block, enables adaptive instance normalization of the input image conditional on the reference image. For thermal, uh, for, for thermal, in thermal domain, Professor Rachel Cato's group proposed, proposes a novel physical sensing framework based on generative adversarial network that comprises a multi, a multi stream generator and a multi scale discriminator and introduce a refined laws that effectively embed the identity information into the objective function. How, uh, in many heterogeneous uh, recognition tasks, such as near infrared spectrometry, there is no um, a major challenge is that there is no parallel which make uh, which make it an uh, which make it uh, uh, unsupervised generation. Moreover, the generated results lack diversity. Because many previous work only regard uh, only consider this image translation and a one to one generation task. Actually, the uh, actually this problem is a uh, one to many generation problems. Here we introduce the uh, we introduce reference image to get the generation problem. We use this reference image. We propose a memory modular to explore the prototype style of pattern of the reference domain after self. Uh, supervised updating the memory term uh, are alt alternatively uh, aggregated into represent uh, the style information. Moreover, to, to use the contents of input image with the style of ref reference image, we propose a novel style transfer transformer module. Actually, we formulate the transformation problem as a style transformation um, uh, uh, problem. We, we, we use network, network to extract styles from the Visible image and the visible styles <clears throat> to guide the transformation of the near infrared image. This figure shows the architecture of style trans transformer model. Uh, this, this three picture represents the original transformer encoder, the style the transformer encoder, and the detailed architecture of the style transformer encoder. It is clear through that different from the original transformer. Uh, whose query key and value are encoded with the same input. Our, uh, our query and the value of the style transformer are original from the input feature map. Well, the key and value are original from the extract reference feature maps. This figure shows the uh, 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 list of visual, visualization results on multi, multi tasks. Our method can be used in near infrared and visible, seminal and visible, and sketch and visible. Actually, our method is a, uh, is a, is a common backbone for what's uh, uh, various tasks. For each group of image, the first and second rows show the input, input image and the transformed image respectively. The result is illustrated that our method is capable of photorealistic heterogeneous phase generation on multiple data sets and for various tasks. Our method can also be used for, uh, for image, trans image translation. Our, our transformer, transformer modulus are basically many uh, translation tasks. To, ver uh, to verify the performance of our method, we also use the generated visible image uh, for uh, for recognition, here are face recognition, uh, face verification and recognition results on the Cassia uh, face sites. We achieve state of the art performance on all these face, face sites. This result also demonstrates that our method can preserve identity information. We know that post the post 
the uh, pose is an uh, important problem in pathogenic space transmission. Here we propose a, a lightweight, pixel-wise uh, method for hydrogenic synchronization. We want to jar, we want to generate accurate, uh, accurate post uh, well, well, uh, uh, well, well paired image to reduce the reduce the size of the networks. You, uh, we use we use 3D phase UV map uh, UV image to represent struct information. Self supervised training are used. We also use a 3D phase UV map of a near infrared image during uh, during inference. It can generate a new visible, a visible image that has the same texture and structure as the input near, uh, near infrared image and forms a structurally design, aligned image pair uh, with the near infrared image. That, uh, that means that we can we want network only focused on the texture and uh, texture and the spectral information. We want to use UV map to <coughs> Uh, disentangle textures from the image. Now, we, we, the network only perform, are only performed on the uh, disentangled image, uh, resulting, res resulting in a lightweight network. This can significantly reduce the networks, uh, the size of the network. The coordinate of the coordinates of near infrared are aligned. The aligned visible and the near infrared on the right from from a aligned image pair. However, due to the in, uh, due to the problem of three D phase models to model uh, attribute information such as hair and glass, picture difference still exists between aligned image pairs because the this is uh, visible and the near infrared image may, may be not applied at the same time. There is a, a time variance, so there is a uh, there is a even though after alignment, there are still picture discrepancies. We imply, uh, we imply the uncertainty estimation obtained through model to automatically explore pixel difference using a probability of pixel loss. Additionally, we use spectral op optimal transport, uh, transport to enhance the quality of generated image. At this time, the spectral converter only needs to focus on the single task of structural conversation and is not affected by the structure if different. So a lightweight network structure can be adopted. Then we can use the transformation on the mobile device. In the final reasoning stage, we only need a lightweight structural converter. Other uh, uh, authority models are no longer needed. We we'll just only use a small and lightweight network to Perform transformation. Can see the uh, uh, gradually reduce the model size and the training data size. Uh, the generation effort uh, remains stable. Our our method can our network can also uh, use in uh, thermal near infrared and other heterogeneous tasks. Here are generated uh, compared to the cross. Uh, uh, Cross spectral combination method, our lightweight methods achieve better results while significantly reducing the amount of parameters and computation. There is also uh, a pollution problem in the uh, in the near infrared uh, in the near infrared uh, and visible recognition. We know that during the during the last three years, uh, humans often often <coughs> were often often. Uh, Often wear masks, so we also develop a method for uh, for practical systems can you uh, can detect the uh, occlusions and use the unclude path to perform uh, heterogeneous estimation. Here's our method and results. We know that a uh, small uh, small data set is uh, uh, is an important problem in heterogeneous visualization because the heterogeneous states are difficult to collect. So. Is there uh, there are many uh, any methods to generate uh, state from the uh, general general large scale data from from existing state? One challenging is the state in non visible a uh, small small scale set. Uh, in uh, intuitive idea is whether we can sample new identities from large scale 
visible inside to generate new image, uh, with new infrared and visible image pairs and throw in the red, uh, red uh, box on site. So the problem of small state volume can be migrated by generating more data. We can la uh, collect large scale data from the internet. So we can, can we use this, this image to generate paired image? Because in biometric recognition, we often use paired data to perform, to learn, to learn, to learn the uh, discriminat uh, discriminative representation. Our method is a dual variation generation framework based on variational autoencoder. We uh, 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 we 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 is one of generation models. We implement, uh, implement sampling, inference, distribution, estimation, and light, uh, likelihood calculation through a single probability graph model by introducing two network models to to replace p probability here. That is, inference and sampling are implemented through network. Virtually, we consider unconditional generation where a pair of heterogeneous face image are is generated simultaneous from the That means we can get two image, two pair image from the noise. A basic idea is to use two network to generate different, uh, different uh, image. And we only use the pairwise and then the preserving loss to constrain this, uh, this two network. But this constraint is too weak. Therefore, we can, can, we, can uh, we combine the vector sample in the two model hidden space in one piece and use a decoder to produce a pair of image at the same time to reconstruct input separately. This method solved the previous training problem. Let's go back to the previous framework. We want to sample two modalities when we are somewhat related to each other. So there are some constraints to be made uh, here. Wow. We use a Winston distance to constrain the distribution matching. We want to the distribution to be similar. Here we know, uh, we we uh, we know, uh, we don't know use the M two norm because these two image may be collect at uh, not at the uh, the same time. But we but we can assume that they are from the same distribution. While we test the generated image, we just need to sample noise. Then we copy we copy it, compact them together and input them into the decoder. In this way, we can generate a large number of heterogeneous face image pairs, such as 100,000 pairs. Then our first version of the dual variational generation framework is summarized in these two diagrams. We generated two paired and the visible image. Let's take a look at the generated image. Here each, uh, here each column is a pair of generated image in one sampling. And we are surprised to find that the generated diversity is very rich, which po uh, with pose and expression expression variation, and then with scholarship says the benefit of intro class diversity is that the recommendation model is to be able to reduce the mean difference. Um, we use the generated image to improve problem. We we learn that one image uh, one the state size the size of state size is increased, the performance improvement is amazing. Here are some other pairs of generating uh, heterogeneous paths, thermal, sketch, and uh, uh, near infrared state size. Looking at the generated image, we found that the two people somewhat resemble a same person. We examined a large number of samples face pairs and found that there was a lot of generated data for this institution. So we measured the average symmetric metric, metrics. But we have no uh, short, uh, shortage of identifying information. We have large scale visible data such as uh, MS Celebrate 1 meeting. The key is to how to use this sim simple visible model data to increase the diversity of identity. The idea of our solution is also very simple. We introduce a network to encode the identity information. We disentangle the identity information in the previous dual variational generation framework, and we add an orthogonal constraint. The information is independent as possible from the attribute and the model information. We use the orthogonal constraint to separate the identity and other information. We train heterogeneous state pairs in such a way. For unpaired visible 
state, we can directly inject the card face features. But uh, actually, there is a still problem. Training a dual variational generation in this way becomes a conditional generation model, and we must provide a face feature for visible state at the time of sampling. For more flexible sampling, we can train a feature level VE with a large number of chart visible features and then use as the decoder as the identity sample. Then we can we uh, then when we sampling, we sample the identity first, then we just sample two noise, we get a pair of image. This is identity information, this is style information. Inspired by self supervised learning, we introduce constructive learning in our approach to better use the general data. The primes of introduced contrast learning in the uh, generated pair has been a date belong to the same identity, and the generated data has a very rich identity diversity. Here, the result we can see that we can uh, in, we can generate different peoples, different persons, and uh, it can, the generated data can further improve uh, recognition problems, and it is, can be used uh, in sketch, thermal and the post recognition and can improve, uh, significantly improve the performance. Actually, uh, we know that the mobile device, uh, in the mobile device, the camera, uh, the camera change very fast. But uh, when we change the cameras, it's a result, also result called sensor problems. Uh, when we use this method, we can reduce the, the size of the collected data. When giving a new sensor, we, we don't need to um, collect a large amount of data. We can use the generation method to large, uh, larger, a large amount of data size based on small data size. Well, uh, in this web webinar, we have discussed the problem of heterogeneous data recognition. We can see that the great progress has been made in the past two decades, and the fundamental models makes work more feasible and provides new opportunities. There are global features, local features, and deep features. Recently, we have a transformer deep learning methods. The state-of-the-art heterogeneous data recognition methods are accurate and fast enough for many practical applications on mobile device. Uh, device including recognition and uh, generation. However, there are still many open problems remain to be solved to make space uh, uh, user-friendly and robust. New sensors also pro provide new solutions for adversarial deepfake attack detection. Uh, for more de details of our methods, please refer to our, uh, our papers published in top journal and conference. Well, thanks to my team members for making this slide, and thanks to Huawei, Meituan, and Oppo for supporting, uh, for supporting uh, us 10 million yuan research fundings to make the work more applicable. And uh, thank you for listening.